All right, this is uh, <clears throat> JKBZ28 with South Mississippi War Gamers. Uh, we're fixing to film a uh, war game report. It's going to be a battle box versus battle box. I'm running my alternate battle box list with uh, the Butcher of Kador, a Kodiak, and a Decimator. Um, I'm going to be playing uh, Jody, and he's playing the uh, Cricks, I believe. Cricks. All right, uh, Jody. You got your stuff out yet? Yeah, I've got it ready. All right, what's your? Well, you have some proxies, right? Yeah, uh, this guy here, the Defiler, he's a proxy, and the Corruptor is a proxy. Sorry. All right, what else you got over here? Okay. Um, I'll take a break. All right, this is my caster, my war caster, uh, War Witch Denegra. All right. And I have two Night Wretches here, and then uh, a Canker Worm. Canker Worm. All right. Uh, this is going to be the basic terrain setup, uh, playing on a 4x4, four four. and uh, we'll come back at the end of round, well, we'll come back and show deployment and uh, maybe get some thoughts on what we're trying to do. Uh, we're back after uh, deploying. Uh, I got to go first, so I got a 6 inch deployment, and this is how I set up, pretty basic. Uh, there's the terrain layout. Uh, the two... Markers in the center of the table are vortexes. Uh, they got a five inch radius around them. If you get too close to them, a mine goes off and you can blow up. That's the scenario we're playing. Uh, and this is Jody's deployment. Uh, he's got his warcaster chilling in the back. And he kind of, it looks like he's trying to, to get on the outside edges and pinch me in, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll come back at the end of the first round. Right, we're at the end of round one. Uh, nothing special happened. I ran up. Uh, Jody made a normal move and then ran his caster up behind his uh, big war jack. So nothing too crazy to talk about. We'll be back at the end of turn two. Round two or whatever. Back at the uh, end of turn two. I moved up. We almost forgot that these awesome vortexes scatter uh, every turn, and uh, we, we scattered them. Jody moved up, took a pot shot at my Kata Kodiak, he hit him, boxed him for two boxes, and then just moved up a little bit, so nothing too exciting. Uh, we'll be back at the end of round three. Uh, what happened this time is during my turn, we scattered the vortexes again. Jody scattered his back here. Uh, it forced two damage rolls on my jacks, although they didn't take any damage when I charged out of them. When I charged out of them, I killed his, what were those called? Uh, night wretch. Uh, yeah, night wretches. Uh, over here, he ran this guy out of his vortex area that I scattered over here. He took no damage. The dice were rolled too low. His caster moved up, uh, this heavy warjack moved up and fired a, a shot that apparently if it boxes one box of damage, your model just goes away. Well, thank God he didn't pierce my armor, so, so nothing happened. His canker worm ran and got covered behind this uh, piece of terrain. And we're about to start round four, so we'll be back at the end of round four to see what's going on. We're at the end of round four. Uh, Jody moved up. I'm sorry, I moved up and attacked Jody. I uh, got into melee with his canker worm. Uh, didn't kill it. Uh, moved the butcher around here trying to get him some cover. And that was pretty much it. I did a little bit of damage to the canker worm. On Jody's turn, he moved up with his war jack. He ran this guy behind my, my flank I, trying to get an angle. Uh, this Warjack shot over, he hit my my Kodiak Warjack, did some damage to him, and his cat, uh, war, uh, sorry, what they call it? Warcaster, there you go. His Warcaster moved up, getting cover behind his big Warjack, and that's pretty much all the excitement for round four, so we'll be back at the end of round five and see how it goes. All right, so we're at the end of round five, four, yes. five, five. five. Round five. Uh, went good for me, not so good for Jody. You killed my corruptor. I uh, killed his corruptor with uh, using uh, the butcher's feet and then burning some focus to get four dice on my damage rolls. 
Uh, his guy right here only has one box left, so he tried to attack my uh, my jack. Didn't do much. He ran his warcaster way over here, and she's lining up to get some protection from uh, her other light war jack. So we'll be back at the end of round six to see how it's going. All right, so it's the end of round six. Uh, I just moved up to get in combat with him. Uh, just to, I'm sorry, so I can get in combat with him my next turn. Uh, he cast his feet, and then he hit my guy with a spell, so that wasn't any good. Uh, he ended up knocking 13 damage off the butcher with a boosted shot from him because he rolled extremely high. Uh, that was the uh, the main feature of the sixth turn. Uh, now it's my go. We're about to uh, start the next turn, and we'll be back at the end of round seven. All right, uh, it's finally over. <laughs> On my turn, the vortex shifted. Um, that gun, the butcher, you know, he couldn't fight or anything. So I shifted my decimator over to block his guy. And then I moved the Kodiak in because he was within two inches, even with a speed minus two. He was able to get into combat. Uh, so in combat, I was able to take down his Warcaster and win the game. Uh, Jody, it was a real fun game. Uh, definitely got to play again. <laughs> All right, that's it.